We're now going to talk about how muscles act to allow you to actually move. So we need to not only have a single contraction, um, relaxation that we've talked about, right? Contraction, relaxation um, that can happen. We need to be able to add together multiple contractions to allow for like fluid controlled movement. So you may have had like a muscle twitch before, right? Like, like a twitch, usually that's um, unconscious. You can't really twitch on purpose. But those twitches, that's a single contraction relaxation cycle. And that's not really allowing you to do much. We need to have these summate, sum together to allow for continuous and meaningful, helpful movement. So before we go into summation, we need to look at how we are going, can graph um, muscle tension. So we're actually first going to draw a twitch. And we're gonna draw it on a myogram, which is over time, the changes in muscle tension, right? And mus muscle tension is what we produce from those contractions um, that we talked about. So in our bodies, it takes about 50, Actually, no, let's not, let's not do that. Okay, so a single twitch. We are going to have some like baseline amount of tension here. And let's say here is time zero. Doesn't matter what we, what we call that. This could be minus one, this could be, or this could be time one, but this is where a stimulus occurs. So if this was in a lab setting, it could be actually like firing um, electrical st stimulation to cause a nerve to, to fire. The period up until that stimulus um, hold on a sec. Yeah, I almost said that wrong. So ignore that yet. Here's this, here's the stimulus. Time point zero. We've got a little bit of time before we have any changes occur. Um, I'll do this. I'll do this in the same color. Then we're going to have this big increase in tension generated, followed by a little bit slower decrease. What I wanted to, I almost said wrong, the time in between that stimulus and the actual generation of tension is called the latent period. Right, something is latent, meaning it's not um, happening yet. After that, we've got a contraction period, not too surprising, and a relaxation period, not, no, that's fine. A little bit longer for relaxation to occur. This is all happening, so like the Tension coming back down to baseline, which is here, 100 milliseconds, pretty fast. Okay, so here's the twitch. Great, so practice what a, what a twitch is, single contraction, relaxation, um, and then a myogram. Myo means muscle, and this is a graph visualization of muscle, muscle tens tension over time. So how do we increase the force of muscle contraction if we want to have more than twitches, we could either increase the frequency of action potentials. So increase the stimuli, stimuli the number of stimuli, or we could increase the number of muscle fibers that are responding, that, that are contracting in the first place. Um, so this, we're going to talk to in this video about summation, which is adding together of twitches due to multiple stimuli. Um, increased number of muscle fibers, we'll talk in the next video, which is about motor units. So let's go back to a clean slate, a clean graph here. And this time, 
we are going to look at what happens if we have multiple stimuli. So remember that time scale of that last graph was 100 milliseconds total. Um, I'm going to let's see, I'm going to choose a color here. Got to choose a color, got to choose a color. We're going to do um, action potentials. So that's stimuli in blue. So these are going to be our action potentials. So that one we had before, you could draw that like a single fire firing, right? Um, we'll obviously talk a lot more about action potentials. Think of this as these, these are our stim stimuli. What is the response of the muscle in terms of muscle tension? You know this already. One action potential is going to cause a little latent period and then boom, boom, not perfect. So this is tension here. This is going to be, this would be voltage, right? I'm just gonna draw them across in time next to each other. So let's say though, what happens if I have two action potentials or, or then eventually more occur in close time? Well, first of all, we're gonna have more than one twitch, right? But the other thing, if these are spaced out enough, you're actually not gonna summate, so add together. We're gonna have this thing called TREP. Each one generates a little more force than the next. Next, That first one actually shouldn't be lower than my other one. So let's do this, this, that's a little better. This is not going to be like, to scale. This is TREP, which means staircase. So this is the increasing of muscle tension generated by multiple action potentials in, in sequence. Yes. Okay. I hope I drew those far enough apart. That's just what I was thinking about. Um, these are slightly spaced out in time. And that's because in contrast, I want to show like three action potentials in close, very, very close, closer than this. So in this case, it's not enough time for the muscle to decrease again, to, to relax. Right, we have some relaxation occurring between each of these phases. Not quite back down to baseline, but down there. When we have these stimuli closer in time, we're gonna have something called summation. This, we have our first blip, but wait, instead of going down, it's gonna go up further. It's gonna go up further. And then eventually, if we have no more stimulus, it's gonna go down. This is called summation. Okay, then one more, one more term. Let me just go over here so I can have room over here. If we have a bunch of stimuli, like we're maxing out here. So instead of, it, it, not instead, it actually is a type of summation. So we're gonna have summation occur, but we're gonna have summation occur such that we just go like boom and then flat line. Eventually we might have it decrease again. This is called tetanus, right? Tetanus like lock jaw, that's when your muscles are tight and rigid. Um, in this case, this is not a disease. This is the name for um, maximal contraction of certain mu of, of muscle fibers. So this is actually what allows for fluid and deliberate movements. Um, this is a type of summation, right? So it's not it, it's summation that has occurred occurred to the point where um, there is fluid 
muscle movement and force generation. So summarize, stimuli that are apart in time, but do not summate or actually interact with each other. So this is no interaction, direct interaction. Um, I'm sorry, actually, actually, I'm, I'm sorry. The TREP is a subsequent stimuli that occurred just after relaxation. That is a slightly higher um, tension generation than the previous one. So that is a type of interaction from the previous stimuli. Um, this doesn't happen in reality that, that often. Um, and it's actually due to a gradual increase in calcium in the sar sarcoplasm um, that not all of it is pumped back in before that next contraction. What I was saying about no interaction, that would be if you had like, these are supposed to all be the same size. So this is completely separate twitches due to um, stimuli that are not interacting with each other. The calcium has had time to be all pumped back into the SCR and not extra floating around in the sarcoplasm. Wave summation is subsequent stimuli include occurring before relaxation and the tension is summing instead of just staircasing. Um, so it's before relaxation has started to occur. So we have actually have summation. And then tetanus is a type of summation where the muscle is, com is, is contracted um, fully. And there is no relaxation occurring during that time. Okay, learning check. Label each of these with what they are in terms of the terms we just talked about. So we've got, yeah, I, you can do it. 